Hello and welcome viewers and subscribers of AVG News. My name is Olisi, the son of Nobe, and I'm here to just give an update on the saga that is going on back home involving the Citizens Coalition for Change. Uh, you will remember that we've come out here before to inform you about what is happening. First and foremost, there was a recall of some members of Triple C, that is the mainstream opposition party, which is the only other party represented in parliament other than ZANU PF. So you will know that the party led by advocate Nelson Chamisa uh, is embroiled in a serious internal matter in which there are fights between the party loyalists uh, who are on the side of advocate Chamisa and others who are on the side uh, of a misty called Sengezo Chabangu. I don't know uh, if there are members of the Triple C Parliament, uh, members of Parliament for Triple C, who are in support of this Chabangu guy. But what we know is that there are other members of the party who are not represented in Parliament, especially those that are long serving members of the Movement for Democratic Change, who are now just like Chamisa himself members of triple c so there is a lot of simmering hate which has been going on between these long-serving members and nelson chamisa and we are told that they are the ones who are behind uh the latest shenanigans uh, of misty sengezo chawangu who has then gone to parliament uh he wrote a letter to the speaker of parliament seeking to recall uh, about 16 members of triple c uh, from parliament on the basis that or on the alleged basis that they are they have ceased to member to be members of the mainstream opposition party and we know that the speaker of parliament speedily reacted to that by declaring uh, those seats uh, vacant and he wrote to the chief elections officers uh, in the respective provinces of those members of parliament that were recalled by Chabangu, uh, many of whom are in Bulawayo but are also strewn, uh, others all, uh, are also strewn all over Zimbabwe. So he has uh, the speaker of parliament that is uh, re wrote to these presiding officers that is chief, I mean, chief elections officers in those respective provinces where the MPs came from declaring that there have been vacant positions uh, in the uh, constituencies and that they were elected to save. So now what has happened is that while Triple C has tried to blame this on ZANU-PF, we have it on good authority that while ZANU-PF is likely to benefit for, from this and while ZANU-PF is taking advantage of this commotion within the mainstream opposition party, the main architects of this are Triple C members themselves who are aggrieved that advocate Nelson Chamisa wants to be the only one uh, who has a say within the party and he has been appointing people to positions willy-nilly, he has been uh, removing people from positions as he wishes, they accuse him of tempering with the provincial uh, elections um, processes in which they were selecting candidates to represent the party uh, at local government level and also at parliamentary level as well as proportional representation and senate levels so they are accusing chamisa of a host number of things they are accusing him of being a dictator they are accusing him of forming a cult uh, in the triple c they are accusing him of being arrogant or not listening to other people they are saying also that there are members that have been long serving within the mdc since the party was formed in 2000 who have been sidelined because chamisa wants to parcel this party to fellow former student leaders, you will remember that is a former student leader himself. The likes of Gift Ostalo Siziba are also former student leaders. So they are accusing him of uh, taking the party away from the workers, away from civil society movement, I mean, uh, leaders into the hands or placing it into the hands uh, of 
former student leaders who, according to these politicians, are not well faced with Zimbabwean politics, who also do not understand the reasons and basis on which the MDC was formed in 2000, and also uh, they accuse Chamisa of uh, avoiding Congress, which is an elective process uh, in which the party's leaders are going to be put in place in a substantive basis. So they're saying that Chamisa wants to treat the Triple C as his personal uh, possession, as his personal cult. They're also accusing him uh, of using uh, his close associates to decide what goes on within the party. They are saying that he has been sidelining uh, the likes of Tendai Beatty, the likes of Welshman Nube, and they are also accusing him uh, of neglecting the likes uh, of Job, Sikala, and other members of the party who are languishing in prison. So this is the allegation that is there. Now, they are supporting Sengi Sochabang, but of course, Zano PF has jumped as a party that is uh, suspected to be out in all in full force to try and grab a two-thirds majority. Zanu PF has taken advantage of this. And as you saw, when Sengezo Chabam wrote a letter to the Speaker of Parliament, there was no questioning as to whether he is indeed the substantive member, uh, the substantive uh, interim, I mean, whether he is indeed the interim uh, C Secretary General, as he claims, because you'll know that uh, there is no substantive leader within the Triple C. Chamisa claims to be one, but he has never been subjected to a Congress and be, unless and until he is taken to Congress or if the party's constitution allows him then to assume that position as he pleases. Unless that happens, it means that he also is interim. And that is the argument that um, Chabang is presenting that if he is not the interim secretary general, he therefore uh, Chamisa, it means that therefore Chamisa is not the president of the party. Chabam calls himself the interim secretary general. He also calls Chamisa the interim president of the party. So the speaker of parliament didn't want to uh, dissect the, 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 the positions within Triple C. He didn't want to question Chabamu's local standard uh, as to calling uh, or recalling members of parliament of triple c so they rushed because zanu pf has always wanted to uh further uh, incapacitate the opposition in parliament speaker of parliament uh, advocate jacob mutenda rushed into recalling those that chava listed in his letter to to, to mutenda so at the end of the day those people were called vacancies were declared in their positions. Now the president, that is President Emerson Mnangawa, has then written a, a gazette, he has gazetted those particular uh, constituencies for by-elections. He already set a date for the nomination court to sit. And so here is the proclamation by, that is in statutory instrument 188 of 2023, uh, it reads, Proclamation by His Excellency the Honorable Emerson Damuzum Nangakwa, President of Zimbabwe and Commander-in-Chief of the Zimbabwe, of the Defense Forces of Zimbabwe. Whereas in terms of Section 129K of the Constitution of Zimbabwe, the seats of members of Parliament for Page Bridge West, Binga North, Bulawayo South, Katri Park, Lopemula, Makwekwe, Lupane East, Mavuku Tafara, Mpopo Mamziligazi, and Nketa have become vacant by reason of ceasing to be members of Triple C of Moke Nube, Prince Tubego Sibanda, Nicola Jane Watson, Pasho Raphael Sibanda, Eric Kono, Bright Moevanya, Fipion Minyarazi, Kufa Utizi, Desmond Makaza, and Open Manduna on 9th October 2023, who were the elected members of parliament for the respective constituencies and whereas it is provided by section 39 bracket subsection 2 of the electoral act chapter 2 uh, 13 that after the president has been notified in terms of the said section of vacancies in the membership of parliament 
He shall issue a proclamation ordering a new election to fill the vacancies in the same manner muta, mutatis mutandis as is provided in section 38 of the said act in regard to a general election and whereas the speaker of parliament notified me on 9th october 2023 in writing of vacancies for the aforementioned constituencies now therefore under and by virtue of the powers vested in president in the president as aforesaid i do by this proclamation order new elections for the constituencies of Bait bridge west bingano bulawayo south Katri Park, Lopemula Makwekwe, Lupane East, Mavuku Tafara, Mpopoma and Mziligazi, Mpopoma Mziligazi, and Nketa, and fix Tuesday the 7th of November 2023 as the date um, on which the nomination court shall sit, commencing at 10 o'clock in the morning at the magistrate court, court 5, Trade Court Building, Leopold Tagawira Avenue, will allow you for the purpose of receiving nomination of candidates for election and members of as members of the National Assembly constituencies and the Bulawa uh, of Bulawa South, Country Park, Lopemula Makwekwe, and Mpopo Mamziligas, and the Magistrate Court, Abdel Kamal Nessa Rot, Rot and Ro, that is Harare for the purpose of receiving nominations of, of candidates for election as member of National Assembly constituency for Mavuku Tafara and the Magistrate Court Lupane for the purpose of receiving nominations of candidates for election as members of National Assembly constituencies of Lupane East and Pinga North and the Magistrate Court uh, 5th Avenue Gwanda for the purpose of receiving nominations for candidates for election as member of National Assembly constituency of Pepperidge West. Fix and fix Saturday the 9th of December 2023 as the day on which a poll shall be taken if a poll becomes necessary in terms of section 46 subsection 17 subsection C of the Electoral Act chapter 213 given under my hand and the public seal of Zimbabwe at Harare this 17th day of October in the year of our Lord 2023. Signed by Itim Nangakwa by command of the President. So this is what has happened. The nomination court is going to sit on the 7th of November and on the 9th of December 2023 the poll shall take place, that is the by-elections. But you will remember that this happens against the backdrop of a court case having been launched, lodged to challenge Shabahun's recall of these members of parliament of Triple C. So we all also know that dramatically people suspected to be members of Triple C wrote a letter claiming that they were recalling members uh, of Zanu PF from Parliament, and the person claimed to be uh, the interim Secretary General of Zanu PF, and this is a laughable matter because Zanu PF doesn't have any interim structure. They choose their membership or their leaders through Congresses, and they did that. And we know that the, their Secretary for Administration, who in this case is. Uh, Dr. Opet Mpofu is serving as their Secretary General. So these kid games will not serve the opposition. What is going to serve the opposition is for them to completely restructure the party and announce the structures, choose the substantive members of certain positions if they want to wait for Congress at a later date, but they need to announce or at least officialize their interim members in those key positions so that tomorrow nobody wakes up and claims that they are the vice president of the party or the chairperson of the party and they support Chabang in what he is doing. 
So these insults that have been flying around, these melodramatic issues of waking up to say you are recalling ZANU-PF members from parliament will not work. So it is now up to Triple C to either find each other with Chabamu or risk a further implosion. Because what is going to happen now is that it's going to get worse for the party. By elections will be held. They are assured of winning everything in Bulawayo. That is if Nelson Chamisa can come up, either uh, strengthen his stronghold on the party legally, because now that the case is going to court, the court will determine who is this uh, genuine leader of Triple C, how did they become the genuine leader of Triple C, the party claims it doesn't have structures, it doesn't have membership cards. So without membership cards, you cannot claim that you are one thing, the other person is not, because both of you have got no claim to being leaders of the party. Where I'm seeing this going is that people are going to continue to insult ZANU-PF, accuse ZANU-PF, call Chabang all sorts of names, call Mnangak all sorts of names, but the biggest loser of it all is going to be Triple C, is going to be the opposition because when these by-elections happen and the Triple C issue is not resolved, whoever goes there as a Triple C member after winning the by-election will also be susceptible to another recall by Chaba. So unless and until this case has been settled in court and the court has determined that so and so is the genuine leader of the party, we are going to face more and more expulsions from parliament, recalls from parliament, and it seems as if, unfortunately, Triple C has a hit, um, a cul-de-sac. They don't know where they are going. They are just clueless. And this is where the main problem is. ZANPF is taking advantage of this to do as they please. You can blame anybody else, everybody else, but at the end of the day, the main problem is at Triple C's doorsteps. The main problem is Nelson Chamisa himself and this so-called strategic ambiguity of his, which is confusing not only the party's members, the party's supporters, but also he himself. Because at the end of the day, now he's found in a catch-22 situation. I know you're going to insult me. You're going to call me ZANU-PF. I spoke about these issues soon after the elections were, the results were announced. I told you here and you insulted me for calling Emerson Nangakwa the president, for telling you that there were no fresh elections coming, for telling you that the only way that Triple C could have an argument in their hands was if they went to the Zimbabwean courts to present whatever evidence they had. It turned out they didn't have any evidence. Chamisa lied that he had the V11s. He lied that he had won the elections. He lied that there was going to be fresh elections. He lied that the SAT was on his side. It turns out that the SAT has already long moved uh, on from the Zimbabwean political uh, contestation. They have long moved on. They are concentrating on other issues. You insulted me, you called me names, you're calling us ZANP of mouthpiece, but we speak straight to the issues that are happening. The Triple C is going to further implode. There will not be any fresh elections, there will be by elections, and whoever wins, if they go there on a Triple C ticket, will be again recalled by Chabam. Stay ready for that. Brace yourself for a further implosion within the mainstream opposition party because the daggers are out for Nelson Jamis. Thank you very much. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel, like this video and share it, but also send us your comments, send us your suggestions, send us your views.